A prophecy alert, a prophecy alert. Are you serious? The United Nations yesterday voted to divide the land of Israel, voted to divide the city of Jerusalem, call and voted to demand Israel to withdraw from the Golan Heights. This is the United Nations uh, meetings and coverage. I have the complete documentation. I've been going through highlighting some of it. Unbelievable. Urging concerted action to revive peace talks. The General Assembly adopts six resolutions on the question of Palestine and the situation in the Middle East. Here's how it starts out. The General Assembly today adopted six resolutions on Palestinian and Middle East issues, ranging from Jerusalem to the United Nations Special Information Program on the question of Palestine. The Assembly adopted a resolution on a peaceful settlement of the question of Palestine by a recorded vote, 153 to 7. Are you serious? The seven nations who voted against dividing the land of Israel were Canada, Micronesia, Israel, the Marshall Islands, Nehru, Palu, and the United States of America. There were seven nations who abstained and didn't vote either way. They were the Australians, Cameroon, Honduras, Papua New Guinea, Paraguay, Tonga, and Vanuatu. The rest of the nations voted to divide the land of Israel forcibly. Listen to what the language says. The assembly also, it says here, by the terms of this resolution, the assembly called for the intensification of efforts by the parties including through negotiations with the support of the international community towards the conclusion of a final peace settlement. In other words, the UN is going to lead the charge and to make the final decision. They will, help, they will let the Israelis and the Palestinians participate in the negotiation, but ultimately they will drive it home, which is exactly what... Netanyahu asked Obama to make sure they didn't do. But, of course, Obama's not running the entire U.N., and America did vote against it. Um, so it's in the hands of the U.N. now. We've given the U.N. too much power. The new world order is trying to force the dividing of the land. Let me read. I got, I got a scripture for it. This is a prophecy alert. You'll need to go to Zechariah chapter 2 for read about three verses. Here's what else it says. The assembly also adopted a resolution on Jerusalem by a recorded vote of 149 to 7. Those seven nations against it were the exact same seven. Uh, with eight nations abstaining, they were the exact same eight. By its terms, the assembly reiterated its determination that any actions taken by Israel the, and then they call them the occupying power to impose its law, jurisdiction, and administration on the holy city of Jerusalem are illegal, therefore null and void, and have no validity whatsoever, and called upon Israel to immediately cease all such illegal and unilateral measures. The assembly has also stressed that a comprehensive, just, and lasting solution to the question of the city of Jerusalem should take into account the legitimate concerns of both the Palestinian and Israeli sides. In other words, they voted to part the land of Israel into two nations, and they voted to remove Israel's jurisdiction power over the city of Jerusalem. And this is the 50th year since the city of Jerusalem was liberated back in 1967. Are you serious? By the terms 
of the resolution of the Golan Heights, the assembly demanded, I'm reading right out of the wording, demanded that Israel withdraw from all the occupied territory to the line of June the 4th, 1967. Go back to the pre-1967 borders and called on all parties concerned to exert the necessary efforts to ensure the re resumption of the peace process. This resolution received 103 votes to six against. Those six nations against were Canada, the, uh, the uh, Micronesia, Israel, the Marshall Islands, Palu, and the United States. Uh, it goes on. There's more that goes on in the... There was six in all, but those were the main three. Israel to be divided, peaceably or forcibly, basically. Israel to surrender all rights to the city of Jerusalem and, and says that they don't have the jurisdiction and calls them the occupying power. And Israel to withdraw immediately, demanded to, to withdraw from the Golan Heights right now and to go back to the pre-67 borders. Folks, it has begun. Let's go. This is biblical prophecy. This is a prophecy alert. Now, if you look in the Bible, I'll show you where, they, where the, the prophet Zechariah said that this fault would happen. It says in Zechariah chapter 2, Deliver thyself, O Zion, that dwellest with the daughter of Babylon. That was verse 7. Now look at verse 8. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, After the glory hath he sent me unto the nations which spoil you. For he that toucheth you toucheth the apple of his eye. For behold, I will shake my hand upon them, and they shall be a spoil to their servants. And ye shall know that the Lord of hosts hath sent me. This is a prophecy, folks. There is a prophecy in effect. Zechariah chapter 2, verses 8 and 9. And that's exactly what the United Nations resolution, six resolutions that were passed yesterday. And now... The, they will try to force these resolutions upon Israel. Israel is going to reject it. Trump said not only is he going to help protect Israel, but he's going to put the United States Embassy in the city of Jerusalem. So uh, he is, what Donald Trump says he wants to do is directly opposite of what the United Nations say they are going to do. And here we go. The beast is about to rise. Are you saved? Give your life to Jesus Christ. Hold on now. Hold on. We're running out of time.